In this video, we will try to understand what is postback, how to detect a postback, what is the need of auto postback, and in what scenarios we should be using postbacks. Postback occurs when data is posted to a page. Now, this data posting can happen when someone clicks on a submit button or some events occur on the UI controls. So, for example, over here you can see I have a very simple screen here. Uh, it has one button and a text box. So, now here postback will occur you know, when I click on this button and I send data you know, to the server. Now, when an ASP.NET page is called or I'll say when an ASP.NET page is loaded, uh, there are lots of scenarios in which this page can get loaded. For example, somebody can just uh, put up the URL of the page and try to load the page, right? Somebody can probably just hit the refresh button or probably somebody can click on the submit button and send data. In other words, do a postback. So you'd like to detect, you know, if this page was called because of a postback or it was called, uh, you know, because somebody just uh, put the URL on the browser. So in order to detect, you know, if this page has been called because of the postback, we need to use something called as the is postback property. So um, the page object of ASP.NET has a property called as is postback, which becomes true, uh, you know, if the page is called uh, because of postback. So uh, if you want to use that property, you have to say this dot is postback. So you can see that this is postback property belongs to the page object, which tells you that this page was called because of postback or it was just a F5 refresh or probably it was called because somebody typed the URL on the browser. So for, for, you know, for example, if I just go and uh, put debug point here and if I click uh, on debug here or if I just start this application in a debug mode, so let me do F5. Now there my application is running in a debug mode. Now if you see this scenario, you know, uh, in this scenario, this page has been called, you know, from the browser. In other words, it's the first time this page is getting loaded. So this page is not called, you know, because somebody has sent data to this page, right? So what should happen is, you know, this property should return to me false because this call is not a postback call, right? So if I go and see this value here, it is false and that is right, okay? So let me do a continue and, uh, you know, there my application is running. Okay, good. Now, let's say if I hit refresh, if I say F5, now again, you know, when I do a F5, it is not a postback. I'm not sending any kind of data, right? So again, this value should be false. So if you see here, again, the data, uh, the is postback property is false and that is, that is proper, right? But now, let's say I type something in this text box and I click on the submit button, right? So when I'm clicking on the submit button, actually I'm sending data to the server. So when this event happens, you know, I, I expect that is postback to be true because as I've defined previously, postback is nothing but, you know, when you send data to the server. So when I click on this button and now if I see the property, the value is true. So very quickly, it is true. So postback is nothing but, you know, basically it tells you that you know, is there any kind of data which is sent from the browser or not? Now, let's try to understand the other term, auto postback. Now, let's say if I go, let me go and add one more control here. Must be I will go and add a checkbox. So, let me go to this page here. I already have a text box and a button. So, let me go and add a checkbox, right? And let me go and run this application again in a debug mode. So, there my application is running. Now, if I go and type something in this text box here, let's say test, and uh, if I tab out, you can see the postback event is not happening. If I go and check and uncheck this checkbox, again, the postback event is not happening. Now, even typing on the text box or checking and unchecking a checkbox is also sending data to the server, right? The user wants to send this data to the server. But when I'm doing it, you know, uh, the postback event is not happening. It is not going to the debug point. So why is it like this? Now, ASP.NET websites reside on central server and they are connected by a lot of users. Now, for every small change, you know, like this, like, you know, probably you are changing a combo box, you are checking a checkbox, unchecking a checkbox, typing something on the text box. You know, if you are going to go and make a trip to the server, then the server can get super loaded. So by default, you know, this behavior is enabled for ASP.NET. That means, you know, you have to fill the complete form and once you are done with the 
a complete form filling you can then click on the submit button and then the data is sent in one go you know which leads to less consumption of bandwidth you know there is there are less round trips and the server also does not does not get loaded unnecessarily but again there can be scenarios you know where the user wants uh, that basically as soon as he types on the text box the post back should happen as soon as he clicks on this check box or he unchecks this check box the post back should happen for that we need to go and set the auto post back to true for each one of these controls so in other words what you need to do is you need to go to these controls for example you we'll go to this text box here and you will say auto post back to true once you do auto post back to true for a control as soon as there is any kind of data change on that control uh, the post back happens so again let me go to this check box here f4 that's auto post back now if i go and run this application and now if i go and click on this check box here so i'm going to go and click on this check box you can see as soon as i clicked on the check box uh, the post back happened right and you can see that this event is a post back and then i can go and get the check box values right uh, in the same way if i go and type on this text box here and if i do a tab you can see again the post back is happening so auto post back you know helps you to make an immediate post back as soon as data changes on the control so just revising post back is nothing but you know it happens you know when you send data to the server if you want to detect that this page has been loaded because of post back or probably it is loaded because of refresh or not you can check the is post back property of the page and auto post back you know helps you to post as soon as the control data changes thank you so much so i hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, keep looking for asp.net videos on questpond.com thank you